am Ms. Tamilanjali, Assistant Professor, Department of Nutrition and Dietetics from KSR Autism Science College, Government, Tirchangod. In this video, we're going to see about the topics covered under Nutrition Biochemistry, which are Metabolism of Lipids, Integration of Metabolism of Carbohydrate, Protein and Lipids, and uh, Brief Concepts of Xenobiotics and Nutrigenomics. First, Metabolism of Lipids. Lipid metabolism is a synthesis and degradation of lipids in cells, which also involves a breakdown or storage of fats for energy. In lipid metabolism, fats are obtained from consuming food and absorbing them, or they are synthesized by an animal's liver too. Then, lipid metabolism is a series of complex biochemical reactions involving digestion, absorption, synthesis, and decomposition of lipids, which also help us to produce essential materials for human tissues to maintain the structural integrity and normal body function. Lipid metabolism involves the following studies, which are absorption of lipids, metabolism of fats and fatty acids, which includes oxidation of fatty acid, synthesis of fatty acids and fats, energetics of fatty acid oxidation, and finally the metabolism of cholesterol. Lipid metabolism comprises these uh, following studies. Then integration of metabolism of carbohydrate, protein and lipid. What is integration of metabolism? The coordination between different metabolic pathways inside the body is called integration of metabolism. Which means uh, in our body different metabolic pathways takes place. That is uh, uh, carbohydrate metabolism, protein metabolism and lipid metabolism. All this metabolism coincide or coordinate in one another which is called integration of metabolism these uh, integration of metabolism constantly supplies a suitable fuel for our tissues at all the time uh, whenever it is in fully fed state or written totally starved state uh, major metabolic pathways which are involved in integration of metabolism of carbohydrates, lipids and proteins are glycolysis, gluconeogenesis, glycogen metabolism, fatty acid metabolism, citric acid cycle, amino acid metabolism and oxidative phosphorylation. Uh, in this diagram, we're going to know what is the integration of metabolism. That is in cytosol, glycolysis, pentose phosphate pathway, fatty acid synthesis. Three of this cycle takes place simultaneously. And in mitochondrial matrix, citric acid cycle, oxidative phosphorylation, beta oxidation of fatty acids, ketone body formation, all these metabolic pathways take place simultaneously. And then uh, uh, gluconeogenesis and urea synthesis takes place simultaneously in both cytosol and in mitochondrial matrix. These are, these are the integration of metabolism of carbohydrate, protein and lipid. Then xenobiotics. What is xenobiotics? Xenobiotics is a foreign chemical compound that is present in the body. It is a chemical which is found in an organism but it is not normally produced. It is not normally produced but are ex uh, expected to present in our body. Uh, there are two types of xenobiotics which are endogenous xenobiotics and non-endogenous xenobiotics. Endogenous xenobiotics. Uh, endogenous xenobiotics are uh, normally present in our body which is not normally present uh, due to any reason that is uh, example pigments and hormones then non-endogenous such as drugs food additives and pollutants toxin etc which are expected to present in our body then most of these xenobiotic compounds are subject to metabolism that is biotransformation in our human body then nutrigenomics. Nutrigenomics is a branch of nutritional genomics and it helps us to study the effect of food and food constraints on gene expression. Effect of food and food constraints on gene expression. This is a nutrigenomics and it aims to identify the effects of several nutrients including macronutrients that is carbohydrate, protein, fats and micronutrients like vitamins and minerals on the genome. It helps to identify the effects of several micronutrients and macronutrients on genome. Uh, then it also explores the interaction between genes and nutrients and their effects on human health. It also explores the interaction between genes and the nutrients like macronutrients and micronutrients and their effect on human health. These are the brief concept of nutrigenomics. Thank you.